Hello everyone, I will be discussing code shift starter 69 problem long if sub arrays. So what does the problem say? So basically you are given some array A and you need to find the length of the long if segment. Suppose this is a segment such that the or of all the elements in the segments is equal to the or of all the elements uh, outside of the segment. So Basically, or of all the elements in the green part should be equal to the or of all the elements in the red part. Uh, and uh, <coughs> uh, it's given some examples for, for example, let's say uh, 2, 3, and 4, 7 if you're given. Then if you take uh, this as your segment, the or of all these elements is 7. And uh, <coughs> the part of the array other than the segment, which is only this element, also, is also 7. So that's why the answer is, is 3. So uh, let's look at the solution for this problem. So the first observation you need to make is what exactly can you can you find out what exactly will be the or of a particular subarray, uh, which uh, or, or or of the particular uh, subarray that we want to find. Okay. So suppose that this or is x. Okay. And or of the other elements, that is the red part, is also x. So if we take the XOR of all the elements in the array, that is the red and the blue elements, the XOR will be, so not the XOR, the OR will be uh, x or x, and which is equal to x. And this is equal to OR of all the elements in the array. And we can easily find this because we are given the array. We can take the OR and we are done. Okay, so that's the first thing. So basically the answer, the array which will be our answer, uh, the OR of all the elements, we can find it beforehand. Okay. <coughs> now, second thing that you need to know is, um, what we can do is, suppose we have this array and suppose we fix the left part the ith part to be some value and we basically need to then find the maximum j that we can go till such that this or is equal to x and the or of the other elements is also equal to x <coughs> so how do we do it we will use binary sums okay um, let's assume that we have some function which is uh, or function is name is or l to r which returns to us the or of all the elements in the particular age l to r so what you can do is you can start from i and you can uh, suppose go till this index maybe j1 you first of all check okay is the or of this part is equal to x x is the or of all the elements in the array and you can use this function that I'm just talking about. We will look at its implementation. It's very easy. <coughs> we will basically do or of uh, i to j1. And we will check, is this equal to x? Let's assume it's not. So in that case, see, we cannot shrink our range. Because if we shrink, then again, the or will not be equal to x, right? x is basically the or of all the elements. So we must expand our range. So we will expand our range a little bit and let's assume that <coughs> we expand our range to let's assume this was j1 we go to now j2 we expand our range to j2 we again check is the or of this range equal to x let's assume it is equal to x now okay then what we have to check is uh, we have to verify whether the or of the these two components is also equal to x. So uh, you will uh, call or of j2 plus 1 comma n and or of 1 to i minus 1. You will take their or. This is the combined all or of the uh, remaining part of the array. And you have to check, okay, is this equal to x? There are two possibilities. Either it is equal to x or either it is not. Let's assume it is equal to x. So uh, you will make your answer is equals to j2 minus i plus 1 uh, and max of 
these two things and you will also expand your range and you will expand your range so assuming that uh, this uh, this or is also x and the or of the remaining element is all, part of the array is also x you will basically now try to find even a, an even greater range maybe j3 and do a binary search like that the second possibility is that uh, no it's not the case that that uh, or of this the, the the red part is not equal to x so see if it's not equal to x you cannot increase your range right because if you increase you will just remove some more elements from the red area and the or will be less or it, it won't be equal to x so you must must shrink the range right and thus you can do binary search like this to find for each i what's the maximum j i can go to <coughs> now coming to the uh, this function how do you calculate this or so this is quite easy you can do this in order one only and what you can do is you can maintain like a prefix sum 2d prefix sum i comma j where prefix of i comma j means that how many times is the bit j occurring from 0 to i and uh, you you will have basically prefix of i comma 0 for the 0th bit i comma 1 for the 1th bit i comma 2 for the 12 all the way till 29 because it's given that any element is less than equal to uh, 2 key power 30 less than 2 key power 30 and <coughs> you can just use this uh, prefix uh, array uh, to find the uh, or in the range so what you can do is you can basically iterate for uh, let me do it in red you can do like for uh, mask is equal to 0 mask is less than 30 mask plus plus you calculate a value v equals to prefix of i comma sorry prefix of j comma mask minus uh, prefix of i minus one comma mask and you just see that okay is this uh, mask is not equal to zero then you append to your answer uh, one left shift mask so this is like a small loop which you can use to calculate the or in any range from n to r and you can just use that uh, function right so let me also uh, show you the code it's also quite simple so <coughs> You take the array, you take the or of all the elements, which is basically the x value which we talked about, and I call this as look for. Uh, then you create this prefix array to find the or in the range. Uh, then what you do is you uh, sort of populate this prefix array. Uh, <coughs> then finally, you need to calculate the answer. So you uh, for i int i equals to 0 to n, that means you are affixing the left part of your range to some i. If you fix this, uh, what's the maximum you can go to so you do a binary search uh, from you do a binary search basically from i to some mid <coughs> you find the or of the mid range using the or function you find the or of the right range that is from mid plus one to n minus one which is uh, not a part of the range similarly you find the value for the left of the range and you just check okay first of all the mid value should be equal to x if it's not then you have to expand and secondly then you do the other condition that if the mid value is equal to the or of the rest of the portion of the array then you can expand otherwise you have to shrink finally uh, you also update the answer here and you will print it so uh, <coughs> the complexity of this is order n log n uh, assuming like constant time for uh, finding the uh, or in a particular range uh, so that's how you solve it. I hope you understood something new. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye.